Come here! There was nowhere for him to go. An accused double murderer tries to hide, but deputies tried harder, capturing him during an unrelenting manhunt. It's kind of scary. This is just a country neighborhood. Tonight, eight on your side team coverage. What we've learned about the woman and young child who lost their lives and the man accused of killing them, leaving behind a gruesome crime scene. This murderer will now face the full weight of the criminal justice system. Good evening, I'm Stacey Scheibel. And I'm Keith Kate. Thank you for joining us tonight. That double murder happened yesterday at a home on Sumner Road in Dover. The capture happened just before noon today at a strawberry farm on Glen Harwell Road, about two miles from the crime scene. Investigators say the murder was gruesome. A woman found lying in a pool of her own blood in the backyard. A young child was found dead inside the home. Both had been stabbed to death. Tonight, we have eight on your side team coverage. Jeff Patterson with the latest on the murders and the victims. Stacy De Silva covering the manhunt that terrified those nearby neighborhoods. We're going to begin tonight with Jeff. Good evening, Stacy and Keith. People in this neighborhood are devastated by what happened here last night. The family of the victim tells us that her accused killer has beaten her before and that he threatened them if they told authorities about it. Give me your hands now! You better show them to me now! This is the moment Hillsborough County Sheriff's deputies and canine teams captured their suspect. And how Gabriel Cuz Chuck. This murderer will now face the full weight of the criminal justice system. Less than 24 hours earlier, Sheriff Chad Cronister says the suspect brutally murdered his 36-year-old girlfriend and her four-year-old daughter. Last night was so gruesome, I stood here and said that they were brutally beaten to death. It was that gruesome. We now know that uh, he stabbed these two victims. Jacob Glover lives next door to where the crime happened and believes he heard the moment friends of the victim found her body. My wife went to go get the phone about 4.30, and I heard a scream. Family members of the victim have identified her as Amelia Cook and say she came here seven months ago from Guatemala. They say the suspect has beaten her before. A man called me and told me to tell my sister to come back to him because if she doesn't, there will be consequences. He said it's not the first time I've killed people. I've already killed people in Guatemala. Sheriff Cronister says the victim was romantically involved with the suspect, but that he is not related to the four-year-old girl he is also accused of killing. He has no connection with, with that five-year-old. We thought last night that, that that was his daughter. We've learned that that's not the case. Now people who live on the street are trying to process what happened here. It's devastating. I mean, it's, it's sad. But, you know, what can we do? A quick note, you may have heard the sheriff say that the little girl is five. They have since updated us after learning that she is, in fact, four years old. Stacy, Jeff, we know the suspect, the mother and the child, they all did come from Guatemala. Do we know how they entered the country? Well, the sheriff says that they are working with the Department of Homeland Security on that, that they do know that, in fact, the accused killer here entered this country illegally. They are still trying to work out all of the facts on how that happened. All right, Jeff Patterson, live in Dover. Thank you.